Hello, uh, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. I'm actually uh, back very briefly uh, because we have some guests who've come. We're, we're trying to develop this new uh, technology with Aston University um, and some other partners uh, that uh, helps us to transport fish. You know we have troubles with the cold chain here um, and keeping fish cold. Currently we're using ice, but for many people across East Africa that's not really viable. Ice, ice machines are expensive, so we're looking for a cheaper and more cost-effective solution. Uh, and what we've come up with is this um, box that you can stick on the back of a motorbike and then use it to transport fish and it keeps fish really cold up to minus 20. Um, we're working with Aston University to develop it. So we've, we've, been, we did a, we've done some stuff on it, um, but now we've just applied for some funding and so we've got some visitors who've come to, to check us out and see oh, what is this innovation they've got. Um, and I think it's very timely, so that's why I'm back. And this is sort of one of the challenges that we're talking about. So the ice machine at the moment is it's on it's cu currently, but we've been struggling all morning to, to produce ice. There's no ice in here yet. And we've got a bit, but it's not enough. That doesn't sound very good. Um, so, just you know, these sort of challenges when the power's off and then it resets the machine and it's got to cycle through, just really frustrating for people trying to go about their business. And we've got orders today, so it's it's a real challenge um, for us to to sell when we don't have um, ice. But this, uh, what, and all we're needing is um, something you can stick on the back of a motorbike like this. Um, this is a very nice motorbike. It's um, a government motorbike, actually. Uh, but you know, uh, something that a, a box that you'd stick on here, and it's got these panels inside, uh, which you cool down, uh, and then it really works much more efficiently to transport um, fish. It's uh, so it's, it's we would we personally would use it in conjunction with the ice, but for many other people, uh, if we get this uh, funding to develop this product, we will make this box, stick it in the back of. A bodder, uh, and then people can use it to transport fish across East Africa. So um, we are very excited about it, um, and um, I'm going to. I'm. Uh, we're, we're doing some fish selling and all that as we would normally. Um, and we're going to take the visitors around and show them their site, um, and then talk a bit more about the innovation. So you'll see a bit of footage today uh, of us doing that. We are just about to leave. Um, to go to the site and. Um, I'll show you this later, but we've one of the things that's changed is we've managed to get some. Um, you can see me in the mirror. Uh, we managed to get these as offices, which is great. So I'll show you that later. Um, Cross is going to drive me. Porson's going on a motorbike. Ice uh, is coming in a bit later, I think, for, for the fish. Um, we're just about to leave and uh, go do. We've got a busy day with our visitors, but it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to showing them the, the place and the, uh, well, just sort of trying to highlight the need of this innovation. So, wish me luck. All right, so I'm just leaving Porson at the, uh, the garage. Um, classic, get fuel, top up the oil, car trouble. Uh, and I'm gonna just go to the hotel to, to meet our guests. We came in last night together. Met, I was um, in Rwanda on this project with Think Aqua. And uh, it's, I mean, amazing timing, because they were like, oh, we want to come see the farm, is that okay? As part of their checks to see, uh, just find out how we're doing. Um, and I just, I, I happened to be in Rwanda at the time they said, so I'm just taking the weekends to come, popped over the border, and then going to visit the, bring, bring our guests, Chris and Kalina, um, over. Just because it's, especially um, they haven't done much, it's a huge, huge amount of travelling. If you don't know the way, it's easier to show people. Cause it's never that straightforward. And uh, if you're a foreigner, you it's just so hard sometimes trying to navigate. So did that. Like, they arrived late last night with me. I stayed at Boston and now I'm just going to come pick them up. Oh, I can see them now. They're just here. But... Thanks and see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and for your support. Bye.